find the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the line y equals 3x, the line x equals 3, and the curve y equals 3 over x squared. And the x-axis. All right. So here's a quick sketch. The y-axis, the x-axis. Let's start off with the line x equals 3. All right, a vertical line at 3. Sounds good. The line y equals 3x. A line that goes to the origin at the slope of 3, uh, up 3 and over 1. We'll just draw it in, not the scale. We'll just draw it in like that y equals 3x, where would those two intersect? So we find the intersection between y equals 3x and x equals 3. That's the point. Uh, plug in x equals 3, we get y is 9. So it's the point 3, 9 is where they intersect. 3, 9. Okay. Then we have the curve. Y equals 3 over X squared. As X gets big, it gets very small. As X gets small, it gets very big. We'll just draw it in. Like that. And so... y equals 3 over x squared. Alright, great. So we have that. Um, we go back and check off in blue. We got that. But then also there's one final thing. There's a fourth one. There is the x-axis. And so, if I was to shade then our region, we would be shading, let's say in purple, those three curves and the x-axis. So the x-axis is in black. All right. There we go. With the area of that region there. If they leave off the x-axis, then we're talking about this region here. But no, this is what we have. So, what do we do with this? How do we find the area of that region? We need some other intersections. Let's see if we can find the intersection between y equals 3x and y equals 3 over x squared. So, so 3x is equal to 3 over x squared multiply both sides by x squared 3x cubed is equal to 3 or that x cubed is equal to 1 um, x is 1 and if x is 1 corresponds to y being 3 so the point 1 3 is the intersection of those two curves once again not drawn to scale so that's the point 1 3 And then finally, the third intersection we're going to need. I guess we didn't need this intersection now that we see our region is here. Um, the third intersection we're going to need, or the, really the second intersection, is where we have the intersection between y equals 3 over x squared and x equals 3. So y is equal to 3 over 3 squared, or... 3 over 9 or 1 third. So y is 1 third. 
and if y is one third and x is three, we have the point three, one third. Okay, and the x-axis. All right, there we go. So we need to integrate this, but what we see is that um, it's going to have to be in different parts. Um, if we integrate this with respect to x, then as we go along, the lower limit has to be 0, and the upper limit has to be the line y equals 3x. As we move that along, though, after x equals 1, things change. The lower limit stays as 0, but then the upper limit switches to the other curve. So we have to break this apart and go from 0 to 1, where we have 3x minus 0, upper curve minus lower curve, and then we add on to that from 1 to 3, upper curve minus lower curve. Okay. And that would give us the area of that region. And so we're just talking about 0 to 1, 3x dx, and 1 to 3, Three, let's uh, you know what, let's call it three x to the negative two. That'll help us when it comes time to integrate. To call it a uh, three x to the negative two, so we don't get tempted to use some kind of a natural log or anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna get three um, x squared over two from zero to one and uh, 3x to negative 1 over negative 1 from 1 to 3 or uh, said another way that's going to be 3 halves 1 squared uh, minus nothing plus um, this simplifies here to be negative 3 over x. So minus 3 over x evaluated from 1 to 3. This one's already been evaluated. And so we get uh, 3 halves. And then evaluating this one, we're going to get negative 1 minus a negative 3. Upper limit minus lower limit. Yeah, and so that's going to be a 2. And so, uh, positive 2, right? And so 2 plus the 3 halves all together gives us uh, 7 halves or, or 3 and a half as the final answer to the question. It would have been different had they have given us um, without the and the x-axis part because we'd be doing a different region at that point. But our region though when they say and the x-axis we know that we're talking about this region here. So the answer is 7 halves.